Penrose the Black Pen. Penrose the Black Pen recently had an interview with the world-renowned Dr. Uma Johnson. Now, Penrose the Black Pen is a guy I admire very much, one of the smartest, brightest minds we have in South Africa right now. And the interview that he had with Dr. Uma Johnson, right? Specifically on various issues that are impacting South Africa, African countries, as well as America, particularly on the African-American side or on the African brothers and sisters that we have in America, as well as South Africa. What I got from the interview was a very powerful interview. Don't get me wrong. was a very powerful interview. But what I got from the interview is more problems than solutions. Yes, there might have been solutions that Dr. Uma Johnson has spoken about, but how are they applicable to South Africa? How do we apply those solutions in South Africa where the black person, the African person living in South Africa right now has no resources to affect change? That is the major thing that I never received from watching that interview. Was a powerful interview, but what are the solutions? Yes, you gave us solutions, Dr. Umar Johnson, but how do we implement? How do you help us implement? You came to South Africa, right? You came here. We know you are a bright mind. You are a person affecting change in America, specifically for black Africans in America. You coming to Africa, visiting all of these places in Africa, it shouldn't seem like you are a tourist because right now it seems to me like you are just touring Africa for the fun of it. You are touring Africa to see different places that you haven't seen, but parading it as if you came to Africa to bring change and to see change happen with our leaders in Africa. You said that we should establish schools in Africa that are going to teach African kids about Pan-Africanism. You spoke about endorsing our own leaders, financing our own leaders, but I didn't hear you say specifically, I and certain organizations in South Africa and maybe some in America are willing to fund such a candidate. We are willing to fund such a party so that it can run the race successfully for the 2024 elections that are coming. I never heard anything of that regard. Penuel himself, the questions he was asking, I thought were more personal questions. Those, these are questions that he compiled while watching the various other interviews that Dr. Uma Johnson has had, and he compiled his own questions for his own personal needs. He needed answers to certain questions, not the country as a whole. The country, we have various questions that I believe if an average South African was to interview Dr. Umar Johnson, he would ask him outside of the LGBTQ plus community, outside of the Black Panther movie, outside of everything that they spoke about, outside of, you know, inter- racial marriages outside of all of the snow bunny things that you guys spoke about you could have spoken specifically about the problems in South Africa and how we can dismantle those problems how we can win over those problems we have youth unemployment on a high we have food insecurity that's another thing we don't have food security in South Africa but it's paraded as if we have food security food insecurity a high rate. They did speak about uh, you being a graduate and working as a, as, a, as, a, as a PhD student and all of that, but being jobless. Such things are the things that the country needs to hear from people who live outside of the country. People like Dr. Uma Johnson, who might have other things to say to young people, to say, all right, if this doesn't work, try this avenue. That is what I thought the interview with Dr. Uma Johnson was going to be about. Problems we have in South Africa. How do we face them? How do we win over these problems? What do you see black African people doing in America to ensure that they survive, to ensure that they progress in their lives that we as South Africans can do as well? And in this interview, I got nothing of that sort. Another thing, DJ Spoo, he spoke on his channel as to why he did not 
want to interview or become part of the discussion and the one of the people who are going to speak at these functions and these events where Dr. Uma Johnson was speaking. And he said specifically that he hates the fact that people who come from outside are given preference over the people in South Africa. And that's exactly what I got from the visit of Dr. Uma Johnson. There are people who are powerful, people who can affect real change in South Africa right now, people who have the voice to affect change, but those people are not given the airtime to do so. Instead, people like Dr. Uma Johnson are allowed to come into the country to bring solutions as per se, but those solutions don't really apply to us. Those solutions will not really make sense to many of us because of resources, because of various other things as well. What we need is people who have lived in the streets of Soweto, people who have lived in the streets of Yeovil, people who have lived in the streets of Kayalicha, Alexandra, wherever, to come and say, we know the lives of South Africans. We know the typical lives of South Africans. And this is how we can win as an African child from this specific circumstance that you come from. Dr. Umar Johnson has a perspective of somebody in America. He can be smart as he is, but the perspective he has is a perspective that is in America. Yes, some of the things he spoke about do apply to Africans in Africa, family planning, all of that destroying our sisters by making sure that they are getting more jobs getting more salary and basically feminism those apply even in south africa but those are not the key problems that we need solutions to us having single parent households being raised by mothers or fathers are not there that is a thing that you cannot run away from it is a fact it's something that is happening right now the solution is what do we teach our single mothers? What do we teach our sisters to ensure that even though the circumstances that we are facing, that the fathers are not part of their children's lives, how can the mothers do something? What can they do to ensure that this person growing up we are raising is having positive role models in their lives? They are having positive outlook in life without them realizing or maintaining their focus on the fact that they are being raised in a single parent household. In America, they have various, various things that they do to ensure that people who are raised by single parents don't get a void in their hearts, don't get a void in their daily lives. They actually get mentors, they get programs that they go to. There are no programs in South Africa for such. Those are the things that we needed Penwell to speak about. Those are the things that we needed to see in the interview and we saw nothing. Nothing against Penwell, nothing against Dr. Umar Johnson, but I just want to, to point this out that from the interview, we received nothing.